I'm Jen Rosenbaum, breast cancer survivor, author of What the F Just Happened? A Survivor's Guide to Life After Breast Cancer, and portrait photographer here in New York. I'm really excited to talk to you guys today a little bit more about my surgery that I had two weeks ago. I've gotten a lot of questions on Instagram. How did it go? What can I expect? Um, if I'm going to do it, how do I make the decisions? All of that. So today I wanted to share with you guys a little bit more about my experience um, and what you can expect when you have your ovaries and your fallopian tubes out because that is what I did. So two weeks ago yesterday I had surgery and it was supposed to be pretty straightforward. For those of you who don't know why I had my ovaries removed, there's another video about that that you can check out and it explains the whole thing from beginning to end. But essentially I did it prophylactically um, and I'm super glad I did and I'll explain a little bit more on that later. But for now, let me explain to you what I did. Basically, it was fairly simple, pre-surgical testing, really straightforward. They were gonna do the surgery laparoscopically, which they did. So they fill your abdomen with air, which kind of separates everything, I guess, and, and separates your your organs from the, the abdomen wall so they can see what they're doing. And they remove them laparoscopically. And it's a fairly easy procedure, a couple of hours and all done. So for me, it was a little bit more complicated, which I'll explain for a minute. I think that most people don't have these issues, but I always share with you everything that happens with me. Um, 2015, I had a hernia surgery, an uh, umbilical hernia. So when I had that surgery, they put mesh in my belly button area so that I wouldn't herniate again. It made having laparoscopic surgery a little bit more difficult because they typically go in through the belly button. So they had to go a little bit higher on me so that my incision, if my belly button is here, mom jeans, if my belly button is here, my incision is about here. Um, so they went in a little bit higher. There's another incision over here and another one down here. So different things go in different places, tubes, air, cameras, tools to, uh, did I say tubes? I meant tools <laughs> to cut the ovaries out, to take them out, all, you know, cameras, the whole thing. So they put different things in different places of your body. So usually I think the recovery time for this is fairly short, especially when you compare it to something like a mastectomy or reconstruction surgery. But for me, it was a little bit more complicated again, because they went into this other place and they had to kind of move the mesh around. They had cleaned up some scar tissue in my abdomen from the mesh. Um, so they did a little bit more work in my abdomen. So I was quite a bit more sore than I think most people are when they have their ovaries and their fallopian tubes removed. Now, when I woke up from the surgery, um, by the time I came to, I was writhing in pain and I couldn't understand why. And they were already giving me pain medication. So I must've been complaining about it prior to my actually really coming to. Um, and it turned out that in one of the ways, I guess, that they went through my abdomen, they must've hit a nerve. So I was having nerve pain, which I'm still experiencing a little bit. But what they decided to do was, they said, you know, what do you want us to do? We can inject it. I said, I don't care what you need to do, just fix it. My body was shaking. It was really, um, really horrible pain. So they ended up taking a needle, sorry for the squeamish out there, taking a needle and putting it into the incision in this one and then another one over here and just putting in a numbing agent that would calm the nerve down and help me with the pain. And it worked within a few minutes and it was a huge relief. Um, over the course of the two weeks, it got continuously worse um, from that point. So yesterday um, at my two week follow-up, I had another injection um, from my OBGYN or my GYN surgeon um, to help me again, numb the nerve and calm the pain down. And I have to be honest, in a, in a lot of weird ways, I didn't have any pain gynecologically. Like I had a little bit of cramping maybe, um, a tiny little bit of bleeding in the very beginning, like for the first day. But otherwise that was really the easy part of the surgery. The hardest, hardest part for me was really the nerve pain. And it seemed to um, bother me when I ate. So if I ate too much or really if I ate a normal amount, my stomach would sort of push up against the abdomen wall, which was pushing on some stitches that I had from the mesh, and it was really uncomfortable. So I couldn't really eat normally for two weeks. But again, the nerve pain, the eating issues, I think that that's very uncommon, and I was probably the exception, not the rule. So um, I wouldn't say it was anything to be specifically worried about or to use as a reason not to have the surgery. I'm super glad that I did it. Um, 
I feel a little different after, not hugely different. I definitely do feel my hot flashes have gotten a little bit worse and I have a little bit more maybe sleeplessness and a little bit more emotion. Um, I was I was telling someone the other day a funny story that I said, I'm not, I'm not really not that much more emotional since I'm in menopause, I just cry a lot. <laughs> And I was like, oh, right. Because sometimes I assume that the emotions that we're going to feel are like, you know, these mood swings that we feel are going to be like yelling or anger or whatever. And I don't really have that side of it, but I do, things make me cry a little bit more than they used to. Um, so I guess that is a little bit more, I'm a little bit more emotional. Um, but otherwise, I pretty much feel just about the same. I mean, as of two days ago, I was starting to be able to eat normal again. Normally, um, my... Like I said, the surgeon gave me the shot yesterday, so it's calmed the nerve. It's not completely numb, but it's calmed it down quite a bit, so that pain is a lot better. Um, so I'm starting to feel like myself again. I will say the one thing is I'm really tired. I, I didn't experience this amount of exhaustion with my mastectomies and my reconstruction surgeries even. Uh, the, for some reason, I am feeling very exhausted. Now, it could just be life. I have a lot of things going on in my life right now. Um, but I do think a lot of it is just an adjustment, the body just adjusting to not having the ovaries anymore. It's different than an adjustment to not having breasts anymore. Um, even though I was on Lupron and I was already in menopause, my ovaries were, were still creating estrogen. So um, I think not having that estrogen has been a little bit of an adjustment for me, but not nothing super dramatic. And um, again, I'm feeling pretty good and I'm really glad that I did it. Now, in the beginning, I mentioned that there was a, another reason I was really glad I did it, and I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, so I had my, my two-week surgical follow-up yesterday, and in the two weeks that I have been healing and resting, my ovaries were sent out for pathology reports because we want to make sure, obviously, there's no cancer, there's no issues there, um, and that's part of what they do prophylactically to make sure everything is okay. So um, my pathology came back a little bit mixed. Um, I did have some growths on my one of my ovaries, and I I don't know I don't know what that means yet. And you know I hesitate a little bit to put this video out because I don't have answers, and I usually love to give you guys answers. But the reason why I want to tell you about what happened. <coughs> excuse me, the reason why I want to tell you about that and what happened is because I do think that this is super interesting. So I had pelvic sonogram leading up to this and lots of tests done and everything looked normal. And even when my surgeon went in and removed my ovaries and my tubes, she said everything looked normal, everything looked fine. So it turned out on my left side, I did have three different growths on that side and there's names for them and there's medical terms and all these things. I'm not going to put them out just yet um, until I have a little bit more information. But the point is that those are now being sent out for staining to see obviously if they're benign or malignant. I really do feel in my heart that they're benign. So we're just gonna roll with that and think positively and try not to stress too much. But what I really wanna tell you guys today is that this is really life after breast cancer. That things can just get you at any moment and you have no idea. And it is part of the reason why we live in fear. You know, I had no reason to expect that anything was growing on my ovaries or that I had any pathology that was gonna come back abnormal. So it was a little shocking yesterday and um, it rattled me for sure. I had a really tough day. I had a little bit of like, I don't know if it was a PTSD reaction or it was a little bit um, just anxiety and I really had to kind of control that. And I also got very upset. I got upset in the doctor's office and again after in wondering what is it about my body that these tumors like and like to live in and like to grow in? What is it? What environment am I creating or not creating that is not preventing this from happening? Now, before you all go to the comments and you start telling me, you know, to take this pill or to, to cut meat out of my diet or whatever it might be, I'm not asking for, um, advice on that at the moment. It's something I need to research on my own and kind of figure out on my own. Um, but 
it does make me wonder, am I doing something? And if not, you know, if I am, can I figure it out and can I stop it? And if I'm not doing something, then how do I control this? Am I always gonna be at the whim of, you know, these tests and these scans and, and is this gonna be the rest of my life? So, you know, in a way it already is going to be the rest of my life, but I was feeling yesterday that I really was ready to just be normal again. I just thought that this was my next step to normalcy and that I was just gonna be normal and I would go to the oncologist once a year and everything would be fine for a long time. And that was really my positive wishful thinking. Um, so now I'm in a little bit of a different position, but I'm happy, I'm so happy that I was guided by my intuition and by my doctors to remove my ovaries and my fallopian tubes. And um, it was meant to be. So. I will say to you, I would appreciate any finger crossing and prayer sent, of course, as I always send them back to you guys that are going through this journey as well. I will update you once I get the results back and let you know what they were. Um, I think it's a fairly easy surgery overall. Oh, and by the way, when they, when they, one of the things I forgot to mention was when they pump you with air, and that's the painful part. So the first few days you get a lot of shoulder pain, like collarbone, shoulder, arm pain from basically the air th throughout your body, but that dissipates over about 48 to 72 hours. Um, otherwise, I didn't find the surgery to be that painful. The surgery itself, uh, I actually worked out today. So I'm back to working out, which is I took it slow for sure. Um, I was a little nervous about jumping or running or anything. But um, it felt good to get out again and, and to be active and move my body. So um, if you guys have questions about the surgery or anything post-surgical, again, I'm not a doctor. None of this is meant to be used as medical advice, but I'm happy to answer based on my experiences. You guys can post it in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them for you. And always I'm open to suggestions on anything you want me to make videos about. I love connecting with you guys and I wish you all really, really good health. If you're making a decision as far as to remove your ovaries, I wish you luck in that decision as well. Hope you guys are great.